a lot of people, including myself, have been freaking out a little bit over Boruto having the toad that he was communicating with regarding code. A lot of people, including myself, immediately was like, that means that he has to have some sort of connections with Kashin Koji. That means he was, he, he either was training with him, something happened over the time skip between Boruto linking up with Kashin Koji because again Boruto has a toad that he's communicating with which to be very transparent we could be super misled that toad could have nothing to do with Koji because we don't know to what extent does Koji I mean we've seen Koji with toads and whatnot like I remember he was the one that was giving the data back to Amado via that toad that was watching or whatnot so Koji does have connections with the toads he's not completely disconnected despite the fact that he is indeed a clone still moving on still moving on this is for my day ones this is for my day ones come on he's not Jiraiya per se um but there are clones but or there are toads that have been involved and showcased to be involved with Koji. But that doesn't necessarily mean that that toad that Boruto has is from Koji. So that's something I asked to, to note. It could very well be that the toads from Mount Miyaboku, they weren't, for whatever reason, they weren't affected by that spell. Or it could be what a lot of us would like. And I think that it would lead to even further greatness. And that's that Boruto did meet up with Koji. But again, you got to ask yourself... Because remember, when time skip happened, when they le left for the time skip, it was just Boruto and Sasuke. So you got to question a lot of different things. Like, okay, how if Koji gets involved, how does that happen? Why isn't Sasuke here now? Why isn't Koji here now? You would expect that, hey, if they are working as a three-man team, for example, right? Let's just say that it's been uh, on this time skip, run away from Konoha and, and preparing or whatnot. It was Boruto sasuke and kashin koji why is neither sasuke or kashin koji on the battlefield as things are going right now in boruto so why would y'all if y'all are you know his his senseis so to speak why would y'all be sending him by himself like it could be that yo Boruto is that dude, so to speak, and they feel like he's more than equipped and ready to handle all of this. That is on some Goku giving Cell a Sensu Bean to get back up and fight Gohan. That is the level of cockiness and foolishness, because that's foolishness that I see of sending Boruto to fight Code, the Ten Tails Army, Kawaki, the entire Hidden Leaf Village that all want to capture him because they believe he killed Naruto. Sasuke from the manga, the smart, intelligent, strategic dude that we all know and love, would he make a, a choice like that? Would he send Boruto on his own to fight against the Hidden Leaf Village? Like, nah, you ready though, you got this. Or it could be a couple of different things. It could be one, Sasuke is monitoring the situation because we don't know necessarily who Boruto was contacting and talking with when he was, you know, basically observing what was happening with Code. So it could be that we send Boruto in. The moment shit gets too froggy or whatever, boom, Sasuke is going to pop in. And boom, if Koji is also a part of the fray, Koji is going to pop in as well. So it could very well be like, yo, you go in first. We will follow suit if need be. If not, we're going to be on standby because the true objective of all of this isn't necessarily to return home. Like maybe this was actually a mission and not a mission of what we thought it was. Maybe it's not the I'm back, I'm going to kick your ass, Kawaki mission. Maybe this was more so a reconnaissance like maybe them they've been tailing code maybe they wanted to lure code because they want to find out where ten tails is so if that's the case sending boruto by himself is one is going to let code code is going to have his guard down like he has uh, immensely because he'd be like you know it's just boruto if he shows up with koji and sasuke it becomes a whole different ball game code is gonna feel like you know he's his back is against the ropes he got to pull out all the stops with boruto he's gonna feel a little bit more cocky it could be that Sasuke once again has been removed from the equation with the various theories we've had whether it be that he has been turned into a tree or he's trapped inside of a tree like Bug was <laughs> at the end of chapter 3 of 2 Blue Vortex it could go as far as something even further disfiguring Sasuke of him losing either another ligament 
and physically he can't it's hard for me to really believe that sasuke is completely dead as i've stated before in the boruto uh two blue vortex chapter three review it's hard for me to believe that sasuke is dead just because boruto isn't acting like he's dead boruto is more so like even when he's questioning code it's not necessarily about like his sensei or anything like that and he doesn't even have the rage the fact that he's giving him chance after chance opportunity after t opportunity of like yo this is another warning i'm gonna give you one more warning yo one more warning. he gave him a lot of warnings if he was responsible for the death of sasuke somehow boruto ain't giving a single warning he's just gonna whip code's tail up and down the block and on top of that Uzuhiko is affecting Code, so whoever shows up to fight Code, they're not gonna have that big of a battle to, you know, take him down because he's gonna be constantly affected by essentially a permanent vertigo. And then that leads the big whole situation again of Kashin, Koji, and what the hell happened. It could be a million and one things realistically. It's been three freaking years you know what i'm saying it could be something happened with sasuke and koji had to take over as mentor sasuke was like yo dog I, I taught you everything i knew but because i'm still struggling with my own internal memories opposed to what my daughter is telling me about you i'm gonna pass you off to mr robot guy <laughs> you know what i mean i do truly believe that himawadi whether it be the first few chapters of the time skip have been showcasing little by little that she's gonna be somewhat important the fact that chapter three had her on the cover page the fact that she looked like out of everything of boruto the first three chapters of the time skip he never let go of his guard of like just looking super serious like a trying to be like guts from berserk type of deal up until his little sister showed up when himawadi showed up it humanized him and if you even look let's just say there is some sort of maybe ikamoto is really inspired by berserk right and that's why boruto kind of resembles in a way uh, guts from berserk well one of the things with guts from berserk is that eventually he's not alone no more he starts to get a crew of people one of those people in the crew including the little kid that travels with guts and whatnot that could very well be that role could be occupied by himawadi his sister so essentially himawadi could very well be on that road with boruto and depending on if sasuke is involved or not definitely with kashin koji because again at the end of the day that's daddy's little girl with himawadi we've seen it time and time again whether it be even the anime original stuff that they always like to have you know himawadi's riding on naruto's back and stuff like that she has a very strong attachment to her father she also loves her brother and she made it very clear in the manga and anime that she wanted to be a shinobi for her brother to help her brother so if that's her whole goal is to help her brother she's proclaimed it or whatnot it would make the most sense for her to travel with her brother in his toughest mission of his entire existence probably the toughest mission he'll ever have and that's having the entire world hating him it turns boruto into in a way in a strange way, the role of Itachi, in a way. Although, I'm imagining he would do the opposite of Itachi, where Itachi just was like, Sasuke, just fucking hate me, dude. I'm terrible, just hate me, bro, hate me. If he takes his little sister in and keeps her close, it might be the invert of what we saw with Itachi and Sasuke, of a brother and sister that are working together. And then on top of that, that would lead towards Kashin Koji, training both of them although we have to see what's going on like i could think kashin koji not showing up in the hidden leaf village right now because what is it what what's left of homie if he got half of his whole body on some obito type of stuff crushed probably isn't all that mobile right now and he's probably a lot more mechanical unless they figured out some way to restore some pieces of him or whatnot or maybe because uh, he, you know he was built by amado maybe he remembers and he was able to put some pieces back together but regardless if they've been training in mount miyaboku and himawadi returns mount miyaboku could be a pivotal place for the boruto story for starters we didn't really explore it too well in naruto this would be a great chance to explore it even further in depth this would be a great place for when boruto needs to go on a very heavy mission okay stay with sensei stay with kashin koji this would be a very important factor of how himawadi and boruto could learn sage mode there could be the possibility of boruto not being able to obtain sage mode simply because remember you needed to have a certain level of tranquility and peace and remember one of the problems naruto had with sage mode was the fact that kurama wouldn't allow that peace and tranquility within therefore he couldn't really master sage mode there could be a high probability that maybe boruto 
could train for Sage Mode but not be able to master it. But Himurati will because she's a, a little girl that all she's been doing at this point probably for the last three years is training to be a Shinobi to help out her bro. So Himawadi might be the successor to Sage Mode. Can't really balance out Boruto because you have an evil alien inside of him that's just not gonna let it happen. But Himawadi is just like, don't make me mad. <laughs> you know? And Koji, he, he could just be a massive pivotal asset and at the same time it could set up for something huge because if koji is staying let's just say this is where he's been residing over the last three years and since his defeat at the hands of ishiki he's been residing in mount miyaboku hiding out training up maybe sasuke brought him there which i've said it before i said it again so perfect of a place for boruto and sasuke to be with kashin koji it literally feels like that time travel arc was what set things in motion for this to happen. Maybe because the fan response was so great to seeing Boruto, Sasuke, and Jiraiya together. They're like, well, why don't we kind of make that canon? Himawadi is one of the most popular characters in Boruto. Himawadi and Kawaki are two of the most popular characters, which is probably why they're going to try and figure out some way to keep Kawaki relevant, even if Boruto gets whisked away to another dimension. They're going to try and keep Kawaki, you know, relevant and holding down the Leaf Village. Maybe he'll be fighting Tentails, but Himawadi putting her next to Boruto when she's one of the most popular characters, it just makes sense. This is literally why they had so many filler arcs about Himawadi in the anime, like that Himawadi and Kawaki filler arc of Kawaki going to the academy with Himawadi. That was 100% to do with the fact that they're the two most popular characters of the franchise. Why don't we put them together for an arc? Put her next to the, the main character. Let's see what happens. Age her up a little bit so she can actually engage in combat in a competent manner. Let's see what happens. Give her potentially sage mode and let her train up with Kashin Koji, a la her father that trained with Jiraiya. Let's see what happens. I think that they're setting up a massive recipe and it all resides in the idea of Kashin Koji of how to not only increase the popularity of this story, but essentially take a character like Himawadi and make her competent enough because you know she's still a kid I think Himawadi as crazy as it sounds she might be one of the last remnants of potentially having a natural just shinobi that is actually going to be on point and able and capable of fighting or whatnot her learning sage mode with Kashin Koji would be pivotal Kashin Koji in general being involved in the story a la what we've seen with that toad I think will be pivotal in everything moving forward it's not an easy feat to arrive at Mount Miyaboku, which Mount Miyaboku may potentially be one of the few places that would be difficult for Ada to figure out as well. Maybe Mount Miyaboku isn't occupied anymore. Maybe the toads done dipped out to somewhere else after the Moon Eye plan. You never know. Maybe they went to a different dimension. Maybe they went through a vortex and maybe now they need room for two blue vortexes thought it would have been wish it would have been acting like i'm fine it's getting harder to pretend i said thought you would have been wish you would have been maybe i was wrong